These are randomly generated NHL players, and I will be drafting a team from them, except a dice will determine how much information I get. If I roll a six, I get absolutely no information. A five will allow me to see just the position. A four will show me the NHL team they belong to. If the dice shows a three, I get to see the jersey number. Two will be their name scrambled up. And one, I get to see everything. After selecting 20 players, I will assemble the team in NHL 24 franchise mode and simulate with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. All right, here we go. First roll of the die, and it is the number three. All we get is the jersey number, and I don't know a whole lot about jersey numbers if you've watched that video, so nothing jumps out at me with these three. I am going to go with number 14, though. I just realized that I didn't turn it to forwards only, so... There could be defenders here. Number 55 could be Giordano. Hopefully I didn't just draft a defender first, but I guess we're going to find out. Well, it wasn't a defender. It was Marcus Shifley. That would have been nice, but I'll take Jamie Ben. Second roll. This time we get a number four. Only the team and nothing else. We get New Jersey, Winnipeg, and Toronto. So we could have Shifley 2.0 in the middle. I am, however, going to go for the Toronto player. Let's see who it is. All right, that's a huge pick. We get Willie. Jesper Bratt would have been really good. I'm not really sure what Mason Appleton's overall is, but probably not anything compared to those two. Back at it again with another dice roll. This time we get a two. Let's see if I can unscramble these names. I know that first one. Oh, yes, I do. I think I know all of them, actually. The middle one is Tippett, and the right one is Johansson. And obviously... We're gonna go with, are you kidding me? You kidding me? There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Nikita Kucherov joining the squad. You know what? I've got a crazy one for you. I'm introducing a new rule mid-video. From this point forward, if I roll an odd number, I'll turn off the top 250 filter. But if I roll an even number, it stays on. Let's try it. Time to roll the dice once again. We get the number six. So the top 250 filter stays on but I get zero info. This is all we get, a blank card, nothing on it. I just got a random gut instinct to go with the middle, so I'm going to. And you know what? That is totally fine with me. We get an Andrew Kopp, that is a solid player. Here we go, roll the die, and it is a three, so the top 250 filter comes off. Jersey number only, we get number 18, number 90, and number 13. I think I'm going to go with number, ooh, actually, number 13 could be Barzell, and I got finessed last time. All right, screw it. We're going with 13. I should have stuck with my instinct. We could have had Zaka, but alas, it was not meant to be. Vinny Hinestroza, welcome aboard. Well, let's keep it going here. We are number three again, so same thing, I guess. What jersey numbers will you give us this time? 94 is pretty tempting. Why do we keep getting 13? 28 could be Claude Giroux. I think he still wears 28. There's just so many good players that wear 90 plus that I have to go with 94. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this would have been a good time to switch over to the 13. Could have had Lafreniere. He's been unreal. Well, at least when I'm recording this. They might be eliminated. They might be in the Stanley Cup final. I'm not sure. But he has been looking like a first overall pick. Give me an even number and just give me a two. Really? At this point, it's just going to be the jersey number draft. Number 37, Patrice Bergeron. Got him. Easy. I do not know another soul that wears 37, so... 24. Really? Yanni Gord wears 37. Did not know. I was today years old when I learned that. Suzuki would have been nice, but we get Capitals prospect Connor McMichael. Fire me vertical. All right, this dice has had its fun. Let's go ahead and get something other than three. Scrambled name. And the best part is, it's even. So, we get the top 250 filter. I think I know the left, the middle... Can't figure out the right yet. The middle is Forrester. The left is Nyes. Who is this player on the right? Oh. Is it Chinikov? Is that all the letters? I think it is. So I'm going to go with Matthew Nyes. And there we go. Welcome to the squadrant, Matthew Nyes. If you want to give me another two, I'm not going to complain. Now I am going to complain. All I get is the position and... The top 250 filter is not on, so this is going to be rough. Let's 
go with the center. Oh, nice. We get Adam Fantilli. Jordan Eberle would have been good too. Uh, yeah, you too, 45. I'm trying to make sure I don't draft too many forwards this time. I think we just need three more and we are all set. We have not rolled a single one yet. And now is not the time. But I almost prefer this because the top 250 filter stays on. What do we have here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, that one's not even scrambled. We've got JJ Paterka. We have... No, it's not who I thought it was originally, but I still got it. From left to right, it should be Miko Rantanen, Clayton Keller, JJ Paterka, and I am going with Rantanen. Yes, sir! There we go! Welcome to the team. Again, jersey number 96. What was I saying? And we are already at our penultimate forward pick, number four. Only team... We have the Jets, the Islanders, and the Ducks. I'm going for the Islanders. And I should not have gone for the Islanders. That is unfortunate. Maybe he'll be clutch. Who knows? We'll find out. Just counted the forwards again. We are, in fact, at 11. Number three. No! Only the jersey number. Number 49. Who wears that? Malkin. It could be Malkin. Yep, I'm going with it. As a matter of fact, it is Jake Evans. And then we've got Connor McMichael making his second appearance. Max Jones on the left there. Just uh, looking at my wrist here. I think it's about time to draft some defensemen. Just give me a one. You won't do it. Told you. This dice is a really big fan of the number three. Who is number 90 and a defenseman? 55, I know one. Middleton wears five, I think. Let's go left. Uh-huh. Harley would have been straight fire. Okay, Vakaninen, let's see what you got. Even if I do get a one though, the top 250 comes off, which I don't know if that even really matters when you're filtering only four defensemen. In fact, it doesn't. Only the team for this pick, again, could be Middleton. Colorado, they have a bunch of good defensemen. Yeah, I'm going Avs. And this time it was Middleton. Are you kidding me? Vince Dunn on the right, we get Jack Johnson. Okay, still yet to see a specific number with this dice. And we're not gonna see it right now. Jersey number only. We've had a lot of those. Morgan Riley going for the middle. Uh, who? Our defensive core is very interesting. Give me two. I'm pretty good with name scrambles. Asking you shall receive. Watch, now I'm not gonna be able to unscramble any of- why is there a space? Oh, it's DeHaan. And on the left, we have Miller. Okay. I just got the right, I'm pretty sure. Carolina, Chatfield. Let's take him. Yup. It do be like that. And he also wears number five. That's good to know. So if I get a jersey number one in the future... Five is a pretty solid number for defensemen. Penultimate defender pick. We have a number five. This doesn't help me. I basically have no info because it's just going to say defender. The NHL API doesn't really tell me whether they're a right defender or a left defender. They just put D. So it's a blind shot. I'm going down the middle again. So we've had some really good teams. This one's got great players. But, <laughs> maybe this will be the one. NHL seems to like these weird random teams, so we could do really good. And for my next trick, I will choose a final defenseman. This thing just hates me. Wow, look at all this great info I have to work with. I don't know. The last player on the right was the one I would have taken had I been able to see, so... Let's try it again. Okay, we're chilling. Cam Fowler, good hockey player. Lindell would have been good. Even Shellington, not bad. So we really couldn't miss here. It is now time for goaltenders where again, number five pretty much is the same as six. I get no info, but we're gonna roll the die and we land on three. Jersey number could actually be quite telling. It's gotta be Bob. It has to be. What other goaltender wears number 72? Tell me. If we saw a 29, I think, what, what number does Ottinger wear? I'm quite confident that I thought it was gonna be Flurry, and it was actually Ottinger one time or something, but anyway, we're going with Bob. It better not be someone else. Aha. 
I didn't put on the goaltender filter. <laughs> Oops. Let's run that back real quick. Number 70. Number 34 and number 40. I feel like the... No, he wasn't. I'm just trying to picture anybody wearing number 70. 34 is a pretty common number. For some reason, Mrazik and James Reimer come to mind. I'm not sure if that's even correct. Number 40... I got nothing. I'm gonna play it somewhat safe and go with 34. Ooh, Lion, okay. Number 34. Noted. I will probably forget that. Still haven't seen a one the entire time and the punishment of top 250 will be gone because it's goaltenders. So blindly picking a goaltender, essentially. Wow, we get a gold... Three goalies? That's crazy. I feel like the only position thing could be interesting if I'm not filtering by position. Because it only really helps with forwards right now. But let's say I have all of the player items checked. Then we could get a goaltender, a defenseman, and a center, for example, in one thing. So maybe we'll do something like this again where I have all the positions on. I don't know. Give me the player on the right. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Well, Lions are starter. We have some decent players. Hopefully we have chemistry. Let's head over to NHL 24 and find out. So once again, because we're doing a 33 team custom league, the divisions are all wacky to backy, randomized, but doesn't matter. In fact, I kind of like it. Makes it more interesting. You could get a really good division. You could get a poo one. You just don't know. Although our team is 88 overall, I'm not going to give up hope yet. In fact, I feel more confident for some reason. I also just realized our abbreviation makes absolutely no sense because I changed from Abbotsford to Ajax last second. Eh. Show me some chemistry. Edit lines. Come on, Jabroni. Cook up a little bit here. Just kidding. Jabroni was, of course, off. And I am going to continue... To leave Jabroni off. I personally feel like they're doing Connor McMichael a little bit dirty with the 81. Probably bias. I could stick all of the young guns together right here. Have McMichael, Fantilli, and Nyes, but I can't have Jamie Benn on the third. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I can. And I will. You're on the third line. If it's not working out, I'll change it. But for now, let's try it. Our defense is going to be interesting. Okay, at least they're not red. So that's a good sign. There's not really much I could do here to improve this, I don't think. I can do that, and I will. Ooh. Sacrifice two overall for the betterment of the chemistry? You better believe I'm gonna do that. Unfortunately, our starting goaltender is 83 overall, backed up by a 79. But what can you do? We truly are aiming to be carried by this first line. Kucherov gets the most points with... 101. I have almost never predicted over 100. This is the time. I don't know what to say about our team, though. 43 wins and we squeak in? Let's simulate. Pretty balanced start so far. 7, 4, and 1. We're looking decent. I am very curious to see what that line of youth brings to the team, though. Will they have points? Will they be... Pretty much the only reason we're losing. Just their plus minus and everything is going to be cool to look at. But right now, we seem to be on pace for like a wild card-ish. That does depend on our division and conference teams overall. Ooh, okay. All right. Maybe we should shuffle things up a little bit here. We're losing too many games for my liking. We do shut out the Leafs. Okay. Let them cook. 26, 23, and 6. Fifth in the division. Let's see how that line's doing. First line is producing. 68 and then a couple of 61s right here. Jamie Ben has 44 points. Oh, yeah. So that line is struggling. But the third line's doing so well. Oh, no. What do I do? I'll try calling up Jamie Ben. Actually, you know what? I just had a really good, really bad idea. I'm going to do this. I'm going to demote the whole line to the third. And these guys can be the second. Maybe it will work? I mean, probably not. The only reason that third line was doing so well is most likely because they were playing against other third lines. But what can you do? Yeah, we are truly hovering right now. Like, we can't pull away in either direction. Wow, Sebastian Ajo on waivers. I'm not going to lie. I saw the name at first without seeing the picture right away and was like, what? And then I saw the picture. So, okay, we are not making playoffs. That is a rough go. I'm gonna do best lines. 
and maybe we'll start to win more. Oh, they really changed things up. This is the new best lines, apparently. That's fascinating. 2-1 loss to the Dallas Stars. 3-1 to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Okay, we do get a couple of wins in a row. We're still kind of in the fight, but... Yeah, no. I think we're done. Lost to Calgary. Lost to Chicago. Lost to Toronto. What a miserable end to the season. The post-trade deadline collapse came in full force. We still somehow managed to pull off six in the division, so... We'll take that. The Pittsburgh Penguins won the President's Trophy. Vancouver, Detroit, and the Rangers all getting snubbed out of a playoff spot. Tampa Bay and the Golden Knights sneak in. 29th in the league. Boo! Boo this team! Nikita had his guy. 99 points. 89 from Nylander. 88 from Ranton. And Jamie Benn did okay. Even Palmieri with 48. I'm down. Cop 55? Good on ya. Was expecting this to be sub 900, but... It's just over. And a 329 GAA. Helberg, 906, 323. And a 6-3-1 record with a shutout. Magnus. Not a whole lot of offense from our defense. Cam Fowler at 39 points. Joel Hanley with 31. Pardon me? Peter Mrazek gets 38 wins for Chicago. And has some pretty solid stats. Thatcher Demko, 38 wins as well. And he played six more games than Mrazek. Did have a 914. Kale just doing what he does. 88 points. And then we got a couple of 73s right here, split between Yossi and Hughes. Nick Suzuki is your Art Ross winner with nearly 120 points. We could have had him. Except if we got him, he probably wouldn't have done so well. Ovechkin, 67 goals. Going to be your Rocket Richard winner. There's no way someone's beaten that. The other Rantanen got 104 because of course he did. Why are the stats so high? I didn't change anything. Let's find out who wins the Stanley Cup. We have to win one eventually, right? Like, this might be the longest streak I've had, though. Chicago is in the semifinal. That's a madness. Just win the whole thing. No, it's Tampa. And the Calder Cup goes to the Laval Rocket. So this is interesting. Robertson, Hintz, and Pavelski led the playoffs with 25 25 and 23 respectively but Hagel had the most points on the stanley cup team so he will probably get the con Smythe. it could so easily go to vasileski a 919 save percentage jake ottinger could even get it a 930 but knowing the game's logic i feel like it'll go to Hagel. victor hedman had 19 points in 26 games seth jones with 16 good for you we have another split between the art heart combo suzuki Takes the first, and Hughes gets the latter. Kel McCarr scooping up a Norris trophy. Lady Bing goes to Suzuki, so he has two so far. Bedard gets the Calder. Yeah, that happens quite a bit. They did give it to Hagel. That is criminal. Otter gets both the Vesna and the Jennings. Hey, there we go. Not completely empty-handed. Chatfield has a Masterton winning season. Fire me north. Gus Bus is the Jack Adams winner. Ryan O'Reilly, or Rory, if you will, gets the Selkie. Jack Hughes, Ted Lindsay, and as we saw, OV with 67 tucks gets the Rocket Richard. Your playoff tree is as follows. Oh, man. A seven-game series in the final between Dallas and Tampa. That would have been wild. Appreciate you guys for watching, as always. If you could like, subscribe... And just leave any kind of comment. <laughs> that would be appreciated. You can tell me if you have draft ideas. If you try this one out. Website obviously is in the description. We will eventually win a Stanley Cup. Today was not that day. But it will come. On that note. I'll see you soon.